What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka the Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. So, we're back again for another x-ray tutorial. This is going to be the last one because I have done two or three videos on this recently, but this is the latest method, okay? So this is the classic x-ray mod that everyone knows and loves, which has finally been updated. And I did release a version yesterday on how to get two different hacked clients, which included x-ray, but a lot of people, when they saw the x-ray resource pack tutorial that I posted, wanted me to do a video on the x-ray classic mod where it's just x-ray nothing else and it's the mod version which works the best so this is the most optimal version x-ray classic which has been updated now to a 1.16.1 the newest version so we're going to jump into it and i'm going to show you how we can install this one So the link for the forum post will be in the description below because this was posted on the Minecraft forum and it's updated by this guy called Dromar Libanasur which is the guy currently updating and maintaining the mod. So over here it's got some new features if you have Optifine there's a new zoom mode and there's a few different coordinate tags and different things in the config which are now in the update. Now I believe this is some kind of unofficial support for it, I think this guy's been maintaining and updating it every single update so hats off to this guy because it's really nice that someone's still updating this old mod because this is currently the best one out there. So, to download it is pretty simple. We have the file over here, so I'm just going to open this up and download it off Mediafire and click download. And the great thing about this X-Ray Classic mod is it actually comes with an installer. The .jar is actually an installer. So I'm just going to left click it to open it in Google Chrome. If you've got Firefox or any other browser, just go to your downloads folder and open it. And you can see here, we have the X-Ray installer, which is a really simple mini installer. This is why I really like this mod, because it's so easy to install. And you can also install it into any 1.16.1 profile. So for an example, I could install it into the Aristois hacked client, which we installed yesterday. Although that already has X-Ray. So we're just going to install it into the normal 1.16.1 profile and press install. And then it'll make a new profile, which is a modded version of the original. And you can name it to what you want. I'm just going to leave it as the default and press OK and then it should say X-Ray has been installed and updated successfully. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and close this browser and we can open up the Minecraft launcher and it's just such a super quick process to do. That's the great thing about this version of the mod. There's no installing manual files. We don't have to install Fabric, Fabric API, Forge, any of that stuff. We just install it directly as a profile. Now if you want to run this with Optifine you can get it to work. Like I said one of the new updates to the X-Ray mode is the zoom feature. You can get this to work with Optifine, although it can be a little bit hard, so I'm not going to show you that today. Only certain versions are usually compatible with it, and I'm not even sure if Optifine's been updated to 1.16 yet, because last time I checked it hadn't, but when it does, I will definitely make a tutorial on that. So it should be the most recent profile, which is this 1.16.1 X-Ray, or depending on what you actually renamed it to, it might be something a little bit different. So let's just launch up Minecraft and test out this profile, and we've not modified anything, we've not changed it, so it should work just as it should do. Now if it's the first time launching 1.16 you'll probably have to wait a little bit for it to prepare and download everything but I already had the vanilla profile which I've ran before so it shouldn't take too long. I think you might have to launch 1.16.1 first the vanilla game if you already haven't at least once before you can install x-ray into a new profile so if it doesn't come up with the 1.16 version when you open up the x-ray installer I think you do have to run the game at least once for it to recognize it and and install it but I'm not entirely sure. Boom! Okay, so everything seems to be loading correctly, so we're greeted here by this new Mojang Studios logo. So 1.16 is up and launching and it's just loading, so that seems to be a good sign that the mod is completely working, which is good. So now we're on the main menu. Okay, so it says on the bottom left in brackets modded. This is how you'll realize that it's actually the correct profile. Now there's no mod menu for Forge, there's nothing here which indicates that there's any specific mods loaded, but if it says modded, you should be good to go. So let's jump into 1.16 world. I am actually showing the full display of my desktop as well. I'm not just showing the game so you can see my taskbar and a few different features of my screen right now. The reason for that is there's actually a lot of customizability options which I'm going to need to show you when 
x-ray and I can't show you that if it's just directly looking at the game so I'm going to show you the full desktop. Okay so as you can see we're just going to spawn a pickaxe I'm going to jump into survival mode. You can ignore the resource pack I've got this is a 3d blocks resource pack I did do a video on how to install that so if you are interested go check out that on my channel but I'm gonna get the diamond pick so we actually have a pickaxe and then now if we're in the mod if I move my camera just quickly you'll see that in the top left there's actually a few different things okay so the first one being the FPS which somehow is on 300 or 400 right now which is pretty insane especially when we've got mods and then the XYZ coordinates so for an example the coordinates when you press F3 of your player's position and location so those things are now displaying on the screen which is super cool and that's the main indicator that X-Ray is working if you have those coordinates on the screen everything should be working I'm gonna tap the X key now and you'll see nothing happens okay if this happens for you it doesn't mean the mods broken it means that you have to fix it in the options this happens every Every single time is because the X key is actually used in Minecraft by other tasks and processors so all we have to do is, is simply just go to the options menu and change the key bind for the x-ray key so just press escape and then jump into the options and then you'll see a control section and we're gonna scroll down until we get to the x-ray subheading so before we get there there's actually a creative mode subheading and you'll see the X key is actually in red that means that two different things in the game are trying to use the X key so what we have to do is just click on that and press escape and it'll unassign or remove the X key from the original purpose and then we can scroll all the way down to the x-ray heading where all the x-ray commands are and the cave find is on C we can put fly on F or we can just bind it to a random key you can just click it and set a random key whatever you want to use I'm gonna put fly speed as plus and minus because I think that makes sense the x-ray key now is not red you'll see that it's actually white that's because we've removed the other command which was using X so now the x-ray can actually work when we press X because two things in Minecraft can't use the same key so that's why it doesn't work when you first load it and then Fulbright mode super important so I'm just gonna set that as the comma key and then here we go so now we have the XJV keys and a few other keys which work okay so first of all let's just jump into survival mode because we're, we're not gonna be able to mine unless we're in survival so now you'll see if we press the X key all of the ores are actually rendering around us okay you can see all the ores through the floor now x-ray is fully activated as it should be and we can see everything now the reason why the classic x-ray mod is probably one of the best is not just because it's a mod version because obviously the mods better than the texture pack but because it's a standalone version and we can customize which ores are actually rendering and which ones aren't which blocks are actually being hidden and going invisible when we enter the x-ray mode and which blocks are still going to be shown for an example when we look down we can still see things like lava and water but we can't see all the grass on the ground so we can customize it and we can still see all the flowers as well which is a bit random so we can customize everything so if we press x again to go out of the x-ray mode we can then press C and it enters the cave finder mode which we saw on the keybind section so what the cave finder does is it's pretty self-explanatory it will actually map out all of the caves around you so all of the normal standard ground blocks will disappear and any caverns or cave systems that are underground and nearby in the range of your render distance will actually be drawn on the cave finder so we can go in options then video settings and we can turn up the render distance much further and then if we enter the cave finder you'll see now we can see even more so the higher your render distance is the more you can see in the distance and the more caves will actually be drawn on the cave finder so this is a really nice tool if you want to easily find things like caves or caverns and get loot underground and it even obviously shows you where all the mobs are around us so for an example if we wanted to find a spider there's one here and I'm sure we could probably find an enderman again like we did earlier and then if we go in the x-ray mode you'll see we have an abandoned mine under here which is really cool which if we go and the cave finder mode we can't actually see so on x-ray you can find abandoned mines and all of the ore which is crazy how much ore is actually shown on the screen and then on cave finder mode we can just see all the caverns and the lava so that's super cool so now if we press the comma you'll see it does something with the blocks okay so if we go into the control section again let's look at the commands that we can actually use so fly mode we set as the dot and full bright we set as the comma so 
If we press V, we can actually enter the zoom mode. This is new in the X-Ray mod. It did say in the most recent version, the zoom feature was actually added. And this supports Optifine as well. So if we just press V, it will zoom into all the models. And the best thing about this is you can take really good close-up screenshots. So especially when you press F1 and go into the no interface mode, we can just zoom into objects in the distance. And for an example, if we go into X-Ray, we can press V and zoom in to actually see which ores are in the distance. So if you have bad eyesight, for an example, which I don't really have a problem with, but if you have bad eyesight or if you can't see something that's really, really far, then this will actually really help you. So we can see there's diamonds down here, here, over here. We can see exactly all of the ores in the distance, which will actually encourage us to actually go and get them. So that's the zoom mode. Comma is the full bright mode but that will be different based on what key you changed it to. And then I set the dot to fly mode. So as you can see, I have the fly mode, which is the dot key. And you have to double tap space to actually activate it, but to deactivate it, you have to press the dot key again, or whatever key you bind it to. So that's my fly mode. I can press the plus key to increase the speed, or the minus key to slow it down. And that's basically all of that. And you can see the fly speed in the top, and it'll show you if you're flying or not, and it'll show you if flying is enabled or disabled with that red text. Now the last thing we have to cover is how we can actually customize the x-ray itself. So you would just press the J key by default and this will pop up with a little dialogue which will show you all the blocks that we can use. You can see that this new box pop up popped up when we press J. So we can click on two different settings on this drop down. The first being the x-ray and the second one being the cave finder. So these are basically what blocks you'll be able to see when we activate the cave finder in X-Ray. So any blocks which are unticked are the ones that we can't see. Any blocks that are ticked are the ones that we can see. So you'll see we can see stone, lava, netherrack, and not really much else on the cave finder. And we can see chests. If we go on the X-Ray mode, all of these blocks which are ticked we can see, which is a whole bunch of blocks. Okay, and anything that we untick we can't see. So you can untick things you don't want to see and you can tick things which you do want to see. So you can also search for things and it has literally every item in the game. So we have beds here for an example. So if we press X in X-ray we can see this bed. But if I don't want to see that bed I can untick the white bed and then when we press X-ray again the white bed doesn't appear. So you can customize it depending on what blocks you want to appear and disappear. You can enable and disable the coordinates in the top left if you don't want that to be a thing. You can enable and disable the new zoom mode and you can also make flying begin instantly when you press the key. So that's how to configure it and that's how to use the different keys to actually enter the fly mode. So it's as simple as that, that's how to install the classic x-ray mod for Minecraft 1.16 and so far out of all the different x-rays we've installed, the resource pack which is the texture pack method which is the most safest if you decide to use it on a server for an example but it's pretty weak. The modded client version which was really good and this version is probably the best because it's the most lightweight and we seem to get the most frames per second with it and it's highly customizable. So I think this is the best version for any of you guys looking for the classic X-Ray mod. So this is how to install it. Make sure to like the video and subscribe and this will probably be the last X-Ray mod for a while. If you do want to check out how to install some modded or hacked clients with a lot of different cheats and mods on then I do have some videos that I released in the past few days but in the next few days I'll probably be making some videos and tutorials on mods and texture packs so be looking forward to that make sure to subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you next time